the change management piece has been a huge lever for us in this work. I think with schools, mostly they have traditionally thought in terms of nine month periods. So we work for nine months and at the end of that nine months, no matter how good or poorly it might have gone, we had a reset button and try again next year. This has really been coaching educators to think beyond that, beyond just vision statements. You know, we provide world-class education. We're, we're pushing schools to think, and particularly Trailblazer, think about exactly what they want that to look like, getting detailed into comprehensive vision. And then once they have that, how do we get action plans in place that are manageable and realistic in scale to get this work going? The biggest part of that is encouraging them and empowering them to carve out the time to be learners themselves. I think they often want to solve the world's problems yesterday. There's an urgency in education, which I get, but we talk a lot about that time is currency in, in teaching and learning and you get what you pay for. So you really have to invest the time as a learner, as an adult learner to get this work done and make it sustainable. At Trailblazer that started about three years ago um, to where we were very deliberate about comprehensive vision and then working in 12 month action plans with very clear success criteria. So I think the power of that is we have educators writing SMART goals for themselves around this work that are more rigorous than a state or a district could ever put on them. And they're invested in it because it's their work. When we started looking at Genius Hour, we did front load with opportunities for professional development for all staff, but we also did a short cycle innovation in one learning team. And in fact, Mrs. Johnson was one of the first teachers to implement Genius Hour, and then we plus delta that process before we rolled it out to the whole team and then whole school. This is the first year we've done a all school implementation at the same time for Genius Hour. And as we've gone throughout that process, we've had to load additional supports, rethink how we introduced it with students, and then scaffold those skills for students so they did develop the skills they need to discover and learn about something that was important to them.